Hey everybody, welcome. This is the AIR show, the air gun investigation and review show. We also host the Picking a Daisy show, but today this is the AIR show proper. I have something very special to share with you today. Yes, we're gonna be doing some plinking. So, <laughs> I'm gonna place this right over here. And we're about 21, two, three, four. We're about 20 yards away. Not really far. Usually we like to do about 50 yards, but it's a small target, right? Of course, that's not the special treat that I have for you guys. It's been it's been a while since the last video, so I really wanted to show you something really fun. Now, this is something I've had for a while and um, I've just haven't gotten around to sharing it with you guys. But uh, now's the time. This is the moment. This is the Hatsan Carnivore 135 the Vortex 135. It is a 30 caliber brake barrel. It has better vantage point. I have just a basic UTG scope on there. Um, and I love this thing. Man, I really enjoy it. Now, what I don't love about this is free, shooting it freehand. It's so heavy. <laughs> so after about a few shots freehanding with this thing, you tend to want to bench it, right? And so that's what we're going to do, especially with that little target out downrange from us here. So um, this is called the Quattro Trigger, and um, it's a fully adjustable trigger, wonderful trigger. Um, the safety has a thumb safety right here. The safety engages automatically when you cock it. Um, it does have the glow sights and also a um, sound suppressor of sorts. Yeah, but um, this is probably why I haven't um, reviewed this because it's not really a, a backyard plinker if you live in a uh, congested backyard area. But we are out in the middle of the woods right now, so this is the perfect time to, um, to play with this. It has the glow sights, but of course we're gonna be using the UTG scope. Um, now, I was able to get a really nice leather strap for this that also has a little handle on there. So, um, very cool. Little thumb, even a place to put your thumb while you're carrying it. If you want to carry it like this, or if you're carrying it over your shoulder. But, um, oh, this feels good. That's very sizable. Now, these things, I don't think they've gone down. I got this back in 2016. I don't think they've gone down in price at all. They're about 300 bucks. Um, so you're really nearing the price of a firearm with one of these things. Um, I haven't chronied it uh, and I, I don't hunt. So um, I couldn't really tell you. I'm, I'm sure this would be a very good gun for small game. Very... Um, uh, very useful for that. Okay, today we're gonna to be shooting the Diablo, JSB Match Diablo, and um, it's a it's pretty hefty <clears throat> pellet. Here we go, let's show you. It's pretty hefty. You know, I was thinking about this pellet um, in relation to, well, it's certainly 
as big as a 22, um, but not maybe as big as a 380 or a, certainly not as big as a nine millimeter. Um, I'm talking firearm uh, dimensions here, sizes. All right, so the hardest thing about this is the cocking. It's it's pretty, has a, a good amount of resistance. Now, one of the things about when you're loading this, you want to make sure it's nice and seated, is that you bring the gun down into it rather than bringing the, the barrel up because then it unseats the pellet. All right, we are ready to go. Automatically, the uh, safety is engaged. And let's see if we can hit that thing down there. We got a nice backstop. And like I said, we're gonna bench this. Now I know 20 yards isn't far out, but let's say if this were a body sized target, then this would sort of equal at least 50 yards out. Wouldn't you say? Something like that. Oh, missed. Missed. You know what that means, right? We got to try again. Yeah, I jerked the trigger on that. Something horrible. Woo. Okay, here we go. That was an honest miss. My goodness. Okay, you know what's going on? Is the target is so close that we need to kind of compensate and do a little uh, aim lower. See what I mean? Yeah, it's so close that it's uh, it's shooting higher than what you're actually aiming at. That was fun. Uh, let's go check out the damage report, the carnation damage report, we'll call it. Yeah, you know, uh, I just recently had a, had a comment talking about one of my videos, how I don't shoot things. Well, today we're gonna remedy that. Ooh, yeah. And it's nice and clean. Here's look at look at the entry. The entry's nice and clean. And the exit. Nice. Very nice. I'll tell you what. Anything worth doing once is worth doing twice. <laughs> so let's try this one more time. Again, the hot sun. Vortex 135. It is a brake barrel pellet gun. And uh, as you can see, it's got a little kick to it. And it's not the quietest thing. So if you got neighbors that are sensitive to these sorts of things, then this might be problematic. All right, let's try again. No, we're not going to try again, right? We're going to do it again. All right, guys. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, which means I'll be able to make videos live directly from my device. So um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, like, and uh, here we go. The hot zone.
Carnivore 135, 30 caliber. You wanted me to miss, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not aiming quite low enough to compensate for the target being only 20 yards away. This would probably hit spot on if it were out at uh, 30 or 40. Oh, too low that time. You know, the wonderful thing about missing is you, you get to shoot again. You get to keep on shooting. Let's see. All right, guys. There it is. Boy, oh boy. I tell you, when you don't get to shoot a lot, it sure does show. Right? Because this thing shoots better than I'm. The gun shoots better than I am. <laughs> that was worth it. All right. That is the hot sun. Carnivore 135, 30 caliber. Um, I really, I've, I've had this gun for a while now. I don't get to shoot as much as I would like, but I'm remedying that right here and now. And um, I believe I got this at um, Pyramid Air, which is also where I got my pellets. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. So, um, that's about it. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And um, I've really been enjoying uh, reading your comments. And uh, I welcome all the new subscribers and all you guys that have been uh, with me this whole time. I hope during these trying times, you're staying safe and your family and loved ones are in good health and wealth. All right, I'll see you the next episode of the AIR show, also known as the Picking a Daisy show. Callier out. <laughs>